Welcome to Sadness Live at Nerd Note Los Angeles! It's hard for me to do improv without turnips. They're turnips. It's hard for me to do improv without turnips. I love them. They're my fuel. Fuel to my brain. You ever tried snorting these? Keep going to the number 14 set Mr. Ben Glebe! Thank you, guys. <laughs> Listen, people live long these days. Okay? Long time ago, lived to about 30, 33. Then you're done. You die at 33, you become a god. Everybody loves you. <laughs> you live into your 80s, people have had enough. <laughs> oh, it's enough of you. Oh, really? Still? You still here? It's eight decades of this? Fuck it. So obviously, just kill everybody at 75. <laughs> That's a new proposal going around. And right after the New World Order takes over, the Bilderbergs are working on this. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh, but it's a fact. You look at the back of the dollar bill. <laughs> There's an eye right there in the middle of the fucking pyramid. Let's say you got 75 one dollar bills. That's 75, guys. <laughs> Think that's a coincidence? Are there any questions so far? <laughs> Whales get a lot of props. Oh, the sonar is very advanced. No, not in the morning. Whales don't even say shit till about lunch. No one even knows that. They're very silent in the mornings. A lot of people don't know this. You know what they start talking about at lunch? They just translate what the roosters were crowing about. <laughs> and why do they say crowing? They're roosters. Crows crow about things. Roosters fucking just roost. <laughs> now, a lot of you are obviously asking yourself right now. You're saying, where the fuck is this farm that's very near the ocean? Obviously, you underestimate the distance that a good crow from a roost who roosted can travel. And obviously, you know nothing about the seas. Because audio travels in there. It's garbled to our ears. But you ever try to talk underwater? And it sounds like... That's how roosters sound naturally. You send that into the water, all of a sudden it's like, hey guys, what we're going to do is we're going to fucking rise up and we're going to be, all of a sudden you're going to meet me at the farm and then the whales are like, how the fuck are we going to do that? We have not even evolved legs. The rooster's like, it's up to you to figure that shit out. But I tell you, man, it's a fucking war. You think the Israelis and Palestinians have it tough. Roosters and whales fucking hate each other. That's how dolphins came about. Needed an intermediary. The dolphins are the United States, in that analogy. You're never going to strike a peace deal. Between roosters and whales, it's as unlikely as Palestinians and Israelis ever agreeing on shit. The only thing that makes less sense about that, and a lot of it doesn't make sense, <laughs> is at least the Israelis and Palestinians should have an easier time because they do live near each other. So maybe the solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is just enough trying to make it work and move one group into the ocean. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of online dating sites. There's a lot of people who say, look, why not use technology to meet your soulmate. Because we all know soulmates are bullshit and it's just a numbers game. <laughs> but that's not for me, guys. Because I personally believe 
magic's going to strike. And I will not touch a woman until that day comes. Because yes, we use the internet to solve every problem, to find every match we're looking for, a new job, a new apartment, absolutely, a new car, search online. You want to buy a used lamp? I do search thousands of images on Craigslist to make sure that lamp fits perfectly into my life. But when it comes to the biggest decision, the person who's gonna live in my bed. Forever, forever and ever until I'm 75 years old. And the government murders me. I believe in the occult. Magic will strike. And I just believe one day I'll be walking down the street, you know, looking through my amazing hat. And I'm going to bump into a woman who will be dressed in a one piece, exposing her legs and a very shiny sequins outfit. <laughs> you know, it's like that beautiful scene where you connect when you bump into someone's book bag, only there's fucking rabbits and tigers and fucking doves flying out. <laughs> my favorite thing to do set list because I'm very lazy at writing and uh, you just hope you don't ramble on one beat too long maybe I did there's a big applause break 45 seconds before I finished maybe that's where you get off but not me I give you a bonus a less satisfying bonus <laughs>